What's up party people? Uh, Jason from Heap of Jeep. Today we are um, repairing and reinforcing the spring mounts. I already got the leaf springs off. Uh, that's in another video. And uh, today we're just going to be um, repairing the rot. Cutting the uh, rust out, putting new good metal in, and just reinforcing things. I'm not doing a whole lot. I'm not doing the floors. I'm not, um, I'm not trying to do too much here because it is still the middle of winter and I don't want to drop the gas tank and do everything I need to do to fix the floors the right way yet so I'm just reinforcing the spring mounts today but it'll give you an idea um, of what's in there and and what we'll have to do to uh, to get things going so I'm gonna go grab the welder and the grinder and the safety gear and we'll get all set up and we'll start having some fun here so I'm gonna start in the back here and the uh, the area, let me, sorry, to shake you around like that. The area I'm going to reinforce is right here. There's the, uh, where the leaf spring mounts, um, well, there's the frame rail that the mounts actually over here. So all I'm going to do, I already peeled the carpet back a little bit. I'm just going to peel this out of here. Um, and to get that all the way out, you need to take out a bunch of screws up here and um, the spare tire rister plate thing um, I'm just gonna take enough out where I can bend it out of the way I don't get care if it gets beat up um, it's just a little cargo area I just need this opened up enough to get some steel in there okay so here's where we are the um, the spring mount is is right here. It's this little L shape thing. The bolt for the spring comes through this little hole down here, and goes through another little hole over here where there's a welded nut. So without any solid metal tying this mount, the frame's still solid. The mount's still solid. A lot of this metal is still solid, but a lot of it isn't. So I'm going to put a patch. I'm going to um, weld some steel just right in here around this corner. Get all this crud out of here. Um, and then take some 316 steel and put it right across from here all the way to there. Um, weld it from the top and the bottom and that should be good. Now the uh, the fuel filling line is behind here so I'm not going to be doing a lot of welding right around here like I say I'm just um, my main concern is this right there I gotta get that tied back into the rest of the Jeep because it's just sort of free floating right now so I'm going to clean this up a little bit, get it ground down, and then we'll cut some steel and weld it in. Shouldn't take too long. I bought this piece of, it's 3 16 by 5 inch steel, and uh, 3 16 is as thick as my welder, my little Harbor Freight welder can handle, so that's the best we can go with. But um, I'm just going to weld this in here, uh, stitch it to the frame, stitch it to the mount, and then put a piece of metal in there come around and I mean like I say it's just it's a little reinforcement until I get the floors done um, you know once the floors are in it'll cover up all the patchwork I do here and then uh, we're getting rid of the carpet I think and just uh, putting a nice uh, bed liner in there or something but um, for now I'm gonna go ahead and drill some holes in here where I need to uh, to weld it and then we'll uh, get the welder out and put this in place. Alright, so I uh, tacked that one in. I uh, got a couple from the bottom too, and then just put a piece here. This really, I don't think is structural, but I still felt better 
having this tied in because there's obviously some rot there and all when I get the floors I'll put some some thinner sheet metal up there but um, for now I think it's good um, you know I'm not gonna be uh, hooking any uh, lifting points up and you know trying to, to lift the Jeep from it it's just to uh, to help reinforce the spring mount that's already there and it's not coming off and yeah I mean it's it's gonna do what I wanted it to do so I'm gonna put a, a layer of paint on that to keep it from rusting till I get to the rest of the floors and then we'll move up front so on the front one here gonna do something real similar um, I think from how it looked the uh, the spring must like to have a little travel right starting right about here so I may only reinforce it from there to there and then do a piece in the back and just leave a, a little gap there um, I don't know I gotta I gotta grind this out this is that rubber coating they put in which I don't think did anything and is just an annoying booger butt to get out so I gotta get down to good metal here see how thick it is I know I got a thin spot over here so I may I may throw a little sheet metal up here first before I tie the uh, the support into it but uh, I gotta get it ground down and cleaned up see what I'm working with Okay, I cut the, the steel for this side. Um, for now, I'm just uh, I'm, I'm leaving a little gap here. I think the spring sits on top of that. Anyways, when uh, when I get to finishing the floors, I'll I'll reinforce that better. I really just don't feel like taking that out, although it would probably make it a lot easier. Um, but just uh, time-wise, I just. Uh, I'd rather not deal with it today. So, uh, yeah, we're going to weld this in now and then the guy will be done. I don't know how well it's going to show up on the, uh, the camera here, but uh, one patch panel there, one patch panel in the back, and I'll come in with some thinner stuff when I redo the floors later this spring but for now um, that's all good so after I got the uh, springs off on the passenger side the uh, front spring mount still pretty good in fact that whole bolt came out the easiest of them all didn't even bind to the uh, bushing to the sleeve in the bushing the back however um, as I was jacking up the vehicle I don't know if this is going to show on the camera but if you can see right here this wants to move a good quarter of an inch and since the the Jeep is um, is jacked up resting on the frame rails in front of the spring mounts the whole back end is sagging and my rear hatch which usually fights me like a bugger to get open is opening and clo closing like new so um, I'm thinking it's been like this for quite a while so I've got to uh, Reinforce this spring mount. I'll put that 3 16 plate in there, and then I'm gonna have to uh, fit this. There was all metal right here, so I'll have to fabricate something out of. Uh, I think I got some 16 gauge steel, which will probably work pretty well for that. But uh, get it all tied back in to the uh, the unibody here. <laughs> That'll be fun. Okay, I apologize for the uh, shaky video now. My tripod, while I was uh, um, kicking and screaming and cursing and everything else, I uh, kicked the tripod while it was on the ground and uh, broke one of the legs off. So I uh, got to finish up the videos the same way I used to do them, which is just do the stuff and then show you what I did afterwards. Um, and so here we go. Uh, passenger side. This was the one that was shaking up and down. Uh, just welded some 3 16 steel in there and then a couple of pieces let's grab the light a couple of pieces of angle iron in there tack welded it up 
again a pretty pathetic welding job but I can uh, put all my weight on it it's not moving you can lift <clears throat> it's not moving so I've got to um, jack up the jaxle now or jack up the jaxle jack up the axle and uh, see if I hear any creaking or groaning when I put the weight back on. Well, I can't do that yet. I got to put the other leaf spring in first. Ha ha ha! All right. Um, best laid plans of mice and men. So I guess I'll put the other leaf spring on, and then we'll uh, we'll jack up the axle. And yeah, I mean I don't know what else I can do right now except put more steel in there if I need to. But um, I mean once it's warmer. That's my other car, the blue one. Once I'm driving that, the snow's gone and I'm driving that, um, then I can uh, take this off the road for as long as I need to to actually get all the sheet metal damage done. Because as you can see, not only the floors, which I knew, but that's light coming in from uh, the fender, the rear fender. So I've got that to take care of too. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go put the uh, spring in. Well, I have to apologize to everybody. My uh, tripod broke, my camera battery died, and it was like single digits in my garage, and I just wanted to get it done. So I didn't film the, uh, the part of putting the leaf springs in, but I'll tell you what, um, putting them in was a whole heck of a lot easier than getting them out. It was... It was one of the most challenging things I've ever done. Not ever done on the Jeep, but ever done. Um, the Sawzall, if you're going to do it and take the Sawzall approach on the uh, rear shackle springs, I suggest you get a lot of blades and get the long ones. The, uh, the short ones, um, I just I kept going through them because I could only get about that much cutting on each one because uh, the saw wouldn't fit in. There's, there's the moose right there. He's the one who's howling at you. Um, so I would suggest getting the longer blades so you can fit more up there and you'll have to change them less often. Um, out of the, the four bolts that had to come off, the two front eye springs and the two um, shackle bolts, the, the ones that mount the shackle to the frame, uh, only one of them came out fine. Uh, and that was the passenger side front eye bolt. Um, didn't stick to the bushing. Uh, got it freed up pretty easily. Took some heat. Again, um, it's not the corrosion and the rust. It's that red gunk that's on the bolts from the factory. It's some kind of um, um, Loctite type thing. And it's going to take heat to get it apart easily. Um, there's definitely rust and corrosion and gunk. Um, but it, that's that's the least of your worries when breaking those free um, what else can I tell you uh, the bar pan eliminators those again I was gonna show you how I dealt with the bolts and getting them through and punching the old ones out but somebody else last time they changed the shocks I guess already did that so um, it was just a matter of undoing them and putting the bar pin eliminators up there and bolting them back up so there really wasn't anything to show with that uh, anything else? Putting the leaf springs in. There, it was. <laughs> it was so. E it was the easiest thing that I've done all weekend. I started this Friday after work, so it was about seven, seven thirty when I got started. Um, worked on it till about eleven thirty, maybe midnight. So figure four hours on Friday. Uh, it was close to twelve hours on Saturday. So that's a total of sixteen. And then I started at nine o'clock this morning, and it is now five o'clock. Um, maybe, maybe, uh, you know, an hour break here or there for lunch. So, um, probably a good, say six hours today. Um, and so that's 22 hours to, uh, change the leaf springs, the rear shocks. Now I did have a lot of welding to do, but, um, that was, it was one thing after another that was getting thrown at me. Um, it, you know, things were just going wrong. Constantly, I had to run to uh, the hardware store a bunch of times. Um, it was it was just it was a project that working on my Jeep has been a blast. And maybe I'll look back on this in a few weeks and say, Yeah, I'm glad I did that. That was fun. But this is one of those things. Had I to do over, I would probably save up the money 
and have somebody do it who knew what they were doing. The only issue with my Jeep is I had to repair the frame and, and nobody was going to do that. Um, you know, I, I knew I had to do that myself, but um, if it came to uh, just changing the leaf springs, I don't, you know, it's it's up to you. For me, it was, it was a real struggle. Um, you know, I don't know. Um, you know, ask me again in a couple of weeks, and I'll probably say, "Oh yeah, it was easy. Do it yourself." I did use a lot of anti seize on the bolt, so should I ever need to do it again, uh, I shouldn't have to worry about them seizing to the bushing. I shouldn't have to cut anything out of there if I ever have to uh, take those leaf springs off again. Um, <laughs> that's a big should. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up here again. I apologize for not filming the the last good chunk of it. Um, I just, my, my tripod, well, I ended up kicking it uh, Friday night, and the leg came off. That's the leg to the tripod, so it's now a bipod. Um, and so I hot glued it on there and got a good chunk of it filmed yesterday. And then, uh, <laughs> in my anger again, and it was so cold out there, the uh, the hot glue that I used to just kind of give it a splint just kind of shattered um, when I hit it again. So, um, yeah, it wasn't real expensive to begin with, but I made it real hard to film anything for you guys. So, uh, if you have any questions, please uh, please write and, uh, and ask. You can uh, get a hold of me on Facebook, went under Heap of Jeep. Uh, you can go to my website. Um, heapofjeep.com or you can just leave a, a comment down here um, and I'll be glad to answer any questions that that I went through like I say I'm not a I'm not a mechanic I watch YouTube videos to learn how to do this stuff and there just weren't a lot of YouTube videos on changing leaf springs so I figured I'll, I'll give it a shot and you know maybe there's an easier way that other people know about but that's that's what happened to me 22 hours worth of happy happy joy joy but i am going to work tomorrow in my jeep thanks for watching i'll talk to you next time um coming up video wise i'm gonna have to do something with the rockers probably gonna do two by six um uh, rectangular steel tubing for those um i also have to drop the gas tank i noticed while i was crawling under there uh i got a leak in the gas tank. I knew I had a leak, but uh, it's getting worse. So um, sooner, probably rather than later, I'm going to have to drop that gas tank. Uh, I've got a new one to put in, but I wanted to wait because I want to uh, weld all the floors when I have the the gas tank out. But be that as it may, that's going to be coming up. So uh, again, if there's something you want to see me tackle on this Jeep, it probably needs to be done. So just let me know, and uh, we'll we'll try and get to that as well. Thanks again.